What's going on guys, this is Replace here and today I am bringing you my player review episode 4 on Thierry Omri's blue card, his team of the season for the MLS and yeah basically I'll just go through the in-game stats and I've got I obviously got the clips at the end but just going through here the things you notice obviously are the light green ones so I'm just going to go through them and if you can't see from yourself already He's obviously got the warping 99 curve, which means I haven't played much with him yet, but I'm going to definitely have to try it out. His finesse, it assumes like he has an amazing finesse shot. If he's got 99 curve, so I'll be trying that out. He's got 93 ball control, he's got 91 dribbling, 96 finishing, 88 free kick accuracy, 85 long shots, 84 crossing, 92 penalties. 89 short pass, 92 shot power, 93 volleys, so that's the skill my attribute things. <laughs> and then moving on to this part of it where we see he's got, he, his age is 33, so you know he's pushing on slightly. He's quite tall, 6'2", it's like it's quite good height, perfect for winning the ball in the air, quite strong, and yeah, just a pretty good strum quite high for an attacker, just around average weight, he's from France, so if, you, if you're working at building a French team, you could try and maybe buy him or an MLS team, he's in a striker or centre forward, I prefer him as a striker, but centre forward's a good option, he's right footed, and the attacking work great thing, I think you can change them, and he's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves, moving on to the next page, it's 90 stamina, 870 strength, some 85 speed, sprint speed, um, 86 reactions, 71 drop jumping, 54 balance, 93 agility, and 86 acceleration. So, eight, and then he's got all of these on these, and none of these are really good at this position and vision and stuff. But, yeah, basically, he's an 85 overall. So, guys, I'll let you get onto the clips now. So, yeah, see the clips. What is going in guys? I am back with the clips and yeah here we go starting off with this screamer of a shot. Well to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you, in the uh, uh game in the in game stats section I thought the finesse would be the best um, best about him, I thought I'd be to run out. Oh, to be honest, I didn't really even get round to finesse and it was his normal power shot is just too good to refuse. Literally every time I would just smack it it would smash through their keeper's hands. It's just, he's just an ultimate player, honestly. He's one of my favourite strikers to use now. I've always liked him. I've like I had him play, I had his Arsenal card a long time in a Prem team. I think it might actually be on um, my channel, like what my first ever video on this channel. I mean I've I had a channel before this so, um a full G based channel but yeah, there you see a lovely rainbow flick over that uh, over that keeper. That was insane. It's like I'm not gonna ask for likes because oh well, I, I would say that. But if you feel you enjoyed the video, um, please do leave a like. But I'm not gonna pressure because it's not fair to just beg for likes. But anyway, guys, enough of that. I'll get on back onto this. So basically, there you go. It's proof it's online because a lot of these clips seem as if they're not gonna. They're like, literally not online. Like. Well, on uh, maybe online, but just not uh, like online with a pl different player randomly maxed up because some of these players I've come against were awful, man. Like it's it's not even funny. I just go into a game, and the re the way I've made my team, I've got a silver and bronze and a couple of gold in it. So my my stats aren't the highest. So when I go into a game, I get into game with average players, and a lot of them. And I was playing late as well. I was playing. I said playing about one in the morning. And for me, I've never ever lost at that kind of time. I just because I don't know. I wouldn't like to say it. It's like I just find that I, when I play Americans, I always win. It's like it's nothing on it. It's just, it just seems to happen. I don't know why, but maybe it's just it's an English sport. I suppose more or less. Me, I don't know. Just that just seems to happen like that. I skip anyway. Get a free kick. Just get a nice little free kick in there. Snatch that. So basically, guys, I, I'm just gonna say 
if you are looking to build a French team or an MLS team, buy him. But the only problem is he's he's worth quite a bit of coins at the moment. He might go down in price. He's fairly recent, so he might go down a little bit. But I can't see him dropping that much because of how good he is. And he his price tag is around 170k. I say around because it isn't it isn't in paper in paper. You know I've seen a lot of different variations of price, so that's why I don't know how much exactly, but. Really, guys, I would I would definitely recommend it if you got coins. I mean, by now a lot of you might do. So, yeah, just getting onto the pros and cons a bit now. So, yeah. And back with the pros and cons. His pros is strong, full style, weak foot and skills, amazing power shot, fast, good free kicking, good all-round striker and as con only con is fairly pricey so thanks for watching guys been reclaiming them out peace